Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to blur the background in a portrait in Photoshop CC. That is very similar to just entirely changing the background, <coughs> but there are some minor differences which we will take a look at later on. Um, first of all, choose the quick selection tool and you can use the shortcut key W to access this tool. Make sure that the add to selection has been chosen and chug up the size of your uh, selection brush in accordance to how big your image is. Now, if you make it too large, your selection will be too chunky. If you make it too small, uh, you can sit there all day and draw because it'll simply take too long. I downsized my image to 6 megapixels for this tutorial. The original size is 36 megapixels, so it would be heavy to work on while screen capturing. Simply press down the left mouse button on the on, an, on the part of the area that you want to keep and then begin dragging. Now we want to keep the girl unaltered so I'm dragging while I, inside the area that is her. Um, the tool will automatically try to define the outer edges of the area that you are uh, dragging on uh, and it may make some mistakes as for example up here where it shows the building so if that happens, simply press down your Alt key on your keyboard, then press down, while, while you hold your Alt key pressed down, press down the left mouse key and begin dragging into the area that it chose that was too much. And the quick selection tool tries to define the new edge. So as you can see down here in between her body and her arms, uh, it also needs some rework. So zoom in, you can press Control plus or you can hold down Control and Alt while you uh, scroll upwards, then chuck down your uh, size, uh, your selection brush size, um, to be able to get into those smaller areas. Hold down your Alt key, then press down the left mouse key and begin dragging inside those areas. You don't need to be too precise. Um, we'll handle that later on, but these areas should be chosen like this. And if you see some areas that were not chosen, that should have been chosen, remember you have uh, chosen this icon to add to selection. So that's the default. Simply press down the left mouse button and begin drawing in these areas like this. So now we have a selection that is pretty good. It's very good enough uh, to work with now. So what we're going to do is to choose Select and Refine Edge. You could use the shortcut key Alt, Control, R to access this tool also. The first thing we are going to do in here is to chug up the radius. Now, let me just zoom in a bit. Um, if you chug it up too high, you will see that there are some areas that are actually beginning to look worse than before. Uh, so don't chug it up too high. If you have it too low, uh, it will look too chunky. Um, it will look too cut out. So you, you want to find a place in between and you want the edges to look a little more natural, a little more smooth. Don't mind the hair just yet. We will take care of that in a short while. Um, so here, the the hat and the jacket, the edges looks rather nice. So I've, I'll, I'll run with my setting on 8. Now as for the hair, simply press down your left mouse button and begin to draw in these areas where you know, hey, it could be better here. I want it reworked and this is a fantastic new tool uh, it was part of the Photoshop CC so as you draw then when you release the left mouse button it begins to calculate which pixels to keep and which not so let's do that again press down the left mouse button and begin drawing around in the areas where you know hey there should be some more hair and the selection should be reworked and Photoshop automatically um, calculates which pixels to keep and which to no, uh, which to make transparent. Press OK when you're happy and zoom out so you can see hey, this is a good result. And this is actually our final selection. So normally we'd, we would just choose to add a layer mask and be done with it because now we can choose any background we want to throw in. That's not what we want here, so let's go a step back and let's select the background instead of her. 
that is done by using the select and inverse. The shortcut key is Control shift i Always remember to use shortcut keys when you can. I'm only showing where to find the things here in the menus because for some it might may be easier, but I definitely recommend that you get used to the shortcut keys and use them instead. Um, now, the entire background has been selected, er anything but the girl has been selected. Uh, press Control c that's the shortcut for copy. It's the same you would use in Word or any anywhere else. And then choose Paste, which is uh, the shortcut Control v So now we have a background here. Uh, we have a layer here that is consisting only of our background. Now make a duplicate of that layer. Layer, duplicate layer. There is actually a shortcut to, to this as well. Uh, let's just rename that upper layer to Selection. We made a copy of our background, an extra copy of our background, in order to have the selection to go back to. That matters in a little while, because now we are going to choose Filter, Blur. Uh, we could choose Lens Blur would be the most correct to use, but it's also a very heavy filter. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to use uh, Gaussian Blur. Uh, you, you can choose uh, Lens Blur if you want yourself. Uh, actually, you, sh you, you should. And because you will have more time. Press OK when you're happy. As you can see, the edges over here, they suffer from uh, being too close to the transparent areas. So what you can see underneath is part of the original background. So to rectify that, make a duplicate of your um, layer, layer, duplicate layer, and then merge down. That's layer, merge down. Shortcut key is Control E. Now let's do that a few more times. Uh, the shortcut key for duplicating the layer is Control J. And to merge down was Control E. So duplicate and merge. Control J, Control E. Now don't mind these areas here where, or even the edges that are totally messed up now, because we will rework that in a short while. Uh, if you want, you can also repeat last filter. That is the filter shown here, and it will be with the same settings that you chose. So you can also use the shortcut key Control F. Um, then duplicate the layer and merge. So Control J and Control E. Hold down your Control key while you left click on your selection layer, and the selection is brought, uh, is recalled again. Uh, while your selection has been chosen like this, make sure that you are s uh, that you have selected layer one. Then press Add, to la uh, add Layer Mask, and we are done. That is a final result. The benefit of having this in a separate layer is that um, we can change the hue. Or we can simply go back to our original. Thank you for watching. That was it.